Hi folks, this is Brian Bogdan here with Angling Buzz for this week's tip. You know, I'm absolutely astonished how many anglers don't use their electric trolling motors to help them land more fish. You know, there's no debate in this day and age that these things have so much te technology put into them that they help you catch more fish, but they actually can be used as a tool in order to help you land those fish and put those fish into the boat. So I'm just going to go through a few of the techniques that I use to help me do that. So the first thing what I like to do is whenever we hook into a fish, whether it myself or a client, I see what kind of fish that is. So I'm looking for a big methodical head shakes, you know, drag going or a client thinking that they're caught on bottom. And then it's time to play the game a little differently. So if I'm trolling, I instantly spot lock. So on the Starova, you just hit your anchor button and you're put right down onto that spot, keep you within a couple of feet. And what that does is that allows me to watch what that fish is doing and then react to how whatever it's going to be doing. So if it starts taking a lot of drag, what I like to do is I turn my boat motor around and I thrust the boat backwards and I get a little bit more gain on it. I never want to let that fish get past a 45 degree angle. Up here in Manitoba, we fish completely barbless and the further the line is out, the better chance that fish has throwing it while it's down deep. So now that the fish is coming in towards the boat, you know, there's so many times when anglers get scared because a shadow of a boat is one of the first places those fish will go. And there's two different spots, of course, a fish will go up on the front of the boat or the middle or the back. And so, there's a couple different techniques you can use to help kick that boat off of those fish. So what I've got is I've got a boat bumper down below the bow of the boat and I just hooked a jig and wrap into it for demonstration purposes. So if a fish is now shot underneath the bow of the boat, all you have to do is turn your trolling motor away from the fish and, th and just thrust it away. I'm just going slow so you can see it for demonstration purposes. And it'll slowly bring it out, out that fish out. Usually once they're out of that shadow, there's the big walleye. Usually once they come out of that shadow, then the fish will run the opposite way. And then it gives them a chance to uh, just tire that fish out much more and they get a chance to put a net on it. Now we'll go to the back of the boat. Okay, so now the fish has gone underneath the, the back of the boat. Now what you want to do is turn your trolling motor towards the fish. And when you thrust it ahead, that ends up kicking out the buoy or the fish away from the back. You basically, your boat's a pendulum from the center of the, of the water, of the keel. So it's turning just like this, depending which way you turn it. So if he's at the front of the boat, you can kick him away. If he's at the back of the boat, you can kick him away either side. And that just helps you get him out of the shadow of that boat and you get him onto the net. So one of the big common mistakes I see as well is people trying to pull a fish in towards the boat. And especially when you're running barbless hooks, this can be the worst time that they will throw. And so what I always do is I just turn my trolling motor so that it's pointing backwards so it'll actually push the boat backwards as well. So I'm just gonna full thrust here to show you. So instead of me pulling the fish in, I can bring the boat to the fish in order to land. And all you have to do is keep constant pressure on that rod tip and you'll land that fish. You know, this is very important when it comes to things like current or with a heavy walleye chop. You know, it's going to want to keep drifting your boat further away from the fish and you have to do something sometimes to get that boat back into position where you're able to land that fish so you know try a couple of these techniques out they actually do work and you know i live by them as soon as we hook into a big fish i must always watching what that fish is doing and putting the boat into the right position so that we can get it topside so that's this week's tip from angling buzz hope you like it